Lesson 3.6, count and write to eight. In this video, we count eight objects and we write eight, the number and the word, right and left-handed. Here we have eight cookies. We have a row of five and three more. It's five and three more. We can count starting at one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could also start counting the cookies from five. If we know that's five, we can say five, six, seven, eight. When we know we're starting with five, we can say five, six, seven, eight. Three more. Here we have the number eight and the word eight, E-I-G-H-T. We can trace the number eight with our right hand. We start here, just below the top line, and we make an S. But we keep going and cross over to where we started, eight. And some left-handers will want to do the same thing as a right-hander, they'll make an S and they'll cross over and continue up to where they started. Some left-handers will be more comfortable to start here, just below the top line, and start as if they're about to make a six, and then cross and come around to the top. That's how I make an eight left-handed. So, for the right-handed students, we start a little bit below the top line and we make an S, see the S? But we continue back up to where we started, okay? We start by making an S, and then we keep going back up to where we started. It's the number eight. We can write the word eight, E-I-G-H-T. Now you notice the G has a tail that is going below the line. So it's going into the basement, isn't it? It's going down below the line. We can write the word eight. We make our E, come across, go up and around. We make our I from the dashed line, and then we put a dot. Our G, we come around and up, and then we go straight down we bounce straight down into the basement like that. For the H, we start at the top line, we come down to the bottom line, then bounce around. Then our T, we start here, we pull it towards our hand, and then we come down. Eight. We can write the number eight with our left hand. If you do it like I've been doing it my whole life left-handed, I start here, and it looks like I'm starting to make a six, but I keep going and come back up. So I start here, and it looks like I'm about to make a six, but when I get to the dashed line, I curve around back to where I started. Now, some left-handed people are going to say they feel more comfortable doing it like a right-handed person by making an S and coming back up. We can write the word eight, we make our E by starting here below the dashed line. We go across and up and around. We make our I from the dashed line and put the dot above the dashed line. Our G is going to come around and bounce down into the basement with a tail, okay? The H is gonna start up here at the top line. We're gonna go down to the bottom line and bounce around to the bottom line again. And then the left-handed T we start on this side and pull it towards our hand and then come down. The right-handed people like to pull it towards their hand and the left-handed people like to pull it towards their hand too. So we're pulling it this way to pull it towards our hand. Here we have eight flamingos. We have four flamingos and four more. Four and four more is eight. We can start counting from one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
eight flamingos, or we can start at four and then say five, six, seven, eight. Here we have some sets of animals. We need to count them and write the number. Let's count the chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chicks. We can write the number eight, however you feel comfortable. Let's count the teddy bears, the little bear dolls. We can start here, but we have to remember as we're counting and going around that this is where we started, so we don't count this bear two times. If we start here, this will be the last bear we count. So let's start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bears. We can write the number eight. Here we have some parrots. Let's count the parrots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven parrots. And we can write the number seven. We come across and down on an angle like that, on a slant. Seven, seven parrots. Here we have a set of lions, and here we have a set of lions. We need to find the set of lions that is two more than six. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven here. Let's count these lions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight here. Which group is two more than six? Do you know? We can make six lions. Here's six lions, and we can see we have one left over. So that's six and one to make a seven. We can put six together here. And look, we have six and two left over. So two more than six is eight. This is the set of lions that is two more than six. We have six, seven, eight. So now you can practice counting eight objects and you can practice writing the number eight and the word eight. Just remember that the G in the word eight goes into the basement. Our next lesson is going to be 3.7 and we're going to model and count to nine. I hope you'll join me there and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.